The case against Fox News and its spread of inaccurate claims begins on election night 2020. Yeah. The Fox News decision desk is calling Arizona for Joe Biden. Fox was the first that network to call the crucial swing state Arizona for Joe Biden, a decision that angered Donald Trump. This is a fraud on the American public. But it also angered Fox's conservative audience, loyal Trump followers, who didn't like that the channel said Biden was winning. Here in Arizona popped up blue. I did not expect that. And so as Trump fans turned away from Fox to more right-wing channels, the network's CEO, Suzanne Scott, wrote, we need to make sure they know we aren't abandoning them and are still champions for them. The voter will cast their ballot by... Trump's lawyers began saying that Dominion Voting Systems, a ballot counting company, had flipped the election for Biden. Nobody liked Dominion Voting Systems. Nobody. And Fox News broadcast those claims and allegedly amplified them just to hold on to their audience and to keep Donald Trump happy. We talked about the Dominion software. I know that there were voting irregularities. Tell me about that. They were flipping votes in the computer system or adding votes that did not exist. Dominion is now suing Fox for $1.6 billion, arguing that they knowingly spread misinformation. And in texts, emails and depositions, we see the difference between Fox in private and in public. You can't say, I mean, you're just lying to the American people. In private, according to no court evidence. documents, Rupert Murdoch said this press conference about alleged voting irregularities after Biden won the election was stupid and damaging, and that Trump and his lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, were both increasingly mad. President Trump won by a landslide. In those documents, it showed Fox hosts were also critical of Trump's other lawyer, Sidney Powell, claiming she was lying and a bit nuts. Well, first of all, the, the machines can be hacked. And yet they were both invited to regularly appear on Fox. When someone watches the news, they want someone they can trust. Fox has defended its right to free speech under the First Amendment, and it accuses Dominion of a political crusade in search of a financial windfall. The trial was delayed until tomorrow. The last minute change fueled speculation that Fox was looking to settle, an indication that the channel knows just how damaging this whole saga has become. But the issue is how damaging the lie that the election was stolen has become to Americans' faith in democracy. Because even today, the majority of Republicans do not believe that Joe Biden is their legitimate president.